Here we have 5.1 restriction in a variable in a denominator quadratic. Find all the excluded values for the expression, that is, find all values of w for which the expression is undefined. We know that fractions are undefined when those denominators equal zero. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that denominator and equal it to zero. Now how you solve um, that quadratic equation is up to you. If factoring is nice and easy for you to do, go for it. If you don't wanna bother factoring, you could always use the quadratic formula. But the choice on how to solve this is up to you. I particularly can factor this pretty easily, so I am going to just factor it into w plus 7 and w plus 5. So then I'd use the zero factor property, which tells me that product can only equal zero if one of these two factors is zero. And what value of w would make this factor zero? Negative seven. What value of w would make this factor zero? Um, negative five. So then what are my excluded values? My excluded values are negative seven and negative five. Now similarly for um, B, again, we're just taking that denominator equal to zero. So we're taking W squared plus eight W plus 16 equal to zero. Again, I can factor this pretty easily. W plus four and W plus four. So I'm gonna take W plus four equal to zero and there's no sense in doing again because it's the exact same thing. So really w equal to negative 4 is the only solution here. That means I only have one excluded value and that is um, negative 4. Now here same thing denominator equal to 0 so w squared minus 36 equal to 0. I can factor that in w plus 6 and w minus 6. So if I set each factor equal to 0, I get w equal to negative 6 here and I get w equal to positive 6 there. So when they ask me for those excluded values, I have negative 6 and positive 6. And that's all you're doing. It's the same thing as what we did before when we had a linear equation, except your denominator looked like this, w plus 4, and so then you only had that one excluded value. Difference here is now I have a quadratic in the denominator, so I might have multiple excluded values. Might, right? This one didn't have multiple. It only had one excluded value. So you have to factor it, see what those factors look like, and then you'll know how many um, excluded values you'll have.